Okay, hello there all. So today, we I love the summertime and into the fall where they have the fresh little like farm stands or whatever on the side of the road. You can get fresh peaches and apples and pears and plums and whatever. But at my house, I get, I have this two-tiered thing where I load all my fruit. Fruit flies. They drive me nuts. Oh, they drive me, and it's just like unappetizing. You want to go get this fresh peach and then several flies fly off of it and then you're like, I'm not hungry anymore. So anyway, so I looked this up and I have a picture to show you later. Completely works. Really? And it's fantastic. I don't know if you guys ever watched The View, but Meredith Vieira, I think is her yeah. name, she was hosting a wedding at her house, I think for maybe her daughter, and she had this huge infestation of fruit flies. Oh my God. Didn't know what to do, so she was looking up a ton of recipes for something like this. So it really is one of those things where if you have veggies out and fruit out, which is something that we yeah. love because- like fresh produce of any kind will do it. Yeah. And then obviously if they get a little ripe or whatever, it's gonna like increase the problem, I think. But, you know, I like them to soften and ripen yeah, and everything out instead of putting them right into the fridge sometimes. So anyway, this I was so happy about because it's a really easy thing. You slip them over by your fruit and then completely work. Apple cider vinegar. <laughs> Smell it. Oh my gosh. It's horrible. It smells horrible. It smells like dying Easter eggs. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Fourth a cup of apple cider vinegar into an open, like, this is kind of a mason small jar, jar, but an open lid mason jar. Fourth a cup, dish soap, whatever Dawn. dish soap you use. Okay. I brought this one because it was almost empty. A few squirts of that. At, top it with just a little bit of water. I'm coming back. Pause. This is very fascinating to me because it is. Fruit flies, you know, they only last a day. But, what? yeah, every fruit fly is supposed to only live one day. Interesting enough, this did not make the suds that mine did at home. It's weird. Is it the suds that you want? Is it? Well, the, this is, come to find out, okay, in the recipe that I said, you're supposed to make some suds at the top, and then they grab onto, they kind of get caught in the suds because they're attracted to the smell of apple cider vinegar. They get there, and then it's the suds that kind of captures them, and then they die. But I, and then I, you just set it over by your fruit basket. I did it, went to church, came back. There were like three already dead in it by the time I came back from church. And then I just kept it there. And I used to be topping it off because it just says when your suds die, top it off, top it off, whenever to get more suds. But I just have been leaving mine there yeah. and they're still coming in and still dying. I so love that. I, the main thing is they're attracted to apple cider vinegar smell. The suds are supposed to create the foam. For some reason in this dish, it did not. I don't know why. I wonder but if you did the little ch target guide. That that I'm make thinking it it's because this was too shallow. Mine's a little deeper, so I can mm -hmm. get more water in there with the suds and stir it up a little bit more. Anyway, it works. A fourth a cup apple cider vinegar, a few drops of your favorite dish soap, top it with water in an open lid jar, kill the flies. Kill the flies! Kill.